Okay, all right. I've been getting a lot of requests for orbital decay, this really fun rejection whip move. So here you go, I hope this helps. Okay, so that's orbital decay. Uh, you can see it goes around your wrist. There's gonna be a little hop and a whip. And that whip is going to land on the yo-yo and then you're going to have to unroll to get out. All right, so you're gonna start this move with a trapeze. You're gonna let the yo-yo continue over and end up in this position. now. This position right here is uh, very similar to kind of like doubled on, except it's gonna be slightly different. Like, so it's gonna be very similar to kind of like this, the beginning of skin the gerbil, but you're gonna go in front. So the yo-yo misses the string and it goes in the front, uh, kind of away from your body. The other thing is you let the string wrap over your wrist. So instead of just kind of like wrapping on your finger, you're not gonna get a very big opening if you do it that way. So in order to increase the, the size of the opening for the whip, you wanna let the yo-yo wrap around and part of the string is here and part of the string is here. And so you've got this giant whip size. Right, you see how big that is? That's gonna be a much easier to do than this. Now there's a couple other things going on with that setup. Once you get into the, the, the kind of mist trapeze there, you're, you're gonna take your hand, and you're gonna bring your fingers in and to the right of the string. So there's this opening here, right after you did the mist trapeze. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna bring your fingers, kind of tuck them in, bring your palm 90 degrees, so it's kind of facing to the right, and put your fingers in. So all three of these fingers right here are in front of the string. Now, once you're in this setup, the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take your pointer finger on your throw hand and you're gonna hit this string. You're gonna take this finger and just pop. And what you're doing is you're, you're just trying to put the string against the edge of the yo-yo to cause the rejection. So if I do this, you saw basically I'm, I'm, I'm not even hooking. I'm just kind of pushing with my finger towards my body uh, my palms up here, this goes down. And what happens when you do that is this string will come off. You don't have to pinch, this is just kind of showing you. The string, the string will come off, right? It'll go around and you want it to whip. But before you do that whip, you just want to get used to just this. Right, that's winning right there. And you might also notice it got caught on my thumb, which is totally fine. That's, uh, I think, pretty much what, what you should expect here when you're going around. So you're kind of creating this hoop, but because of the weight of the yo-yo, it's gonna fall. So once you get used to just that rejection, the next thing to do is hop the yo-yo. And your goal is for the yo-yo to travel uh, almost in a straight line here. Just a, like it's, the yo-yo is barely moving, it's traveling just three inches maybe uh, to the left of my left hand. So on the outside of my, of my free hand, the yo-yo is just hopping. So little hop. Now when you combine that, what'll happen is you'll be able to do that whip without the yo-yo pulling the string down. So the key here is timing, you know, uh, also getting that whip size as large as possible, keeping it far back on your wrist and, and far up on your finger. But the key here is to try to time that hop so that, um, so that the yo-yo is kind of free falling as the whip's happening. For me, that whip happens on the upward motion. So when I'm pulling up with my hand, that's right when I do that pluck right? And you're going to go pluck and up. The yo-yo hops up, the string wraps around.
Now there's one other thing I kind of did intentionally uh, there that, that's, that's wrong, but I, I just kind of wanted to show you that. Um, it's a very subtle thing, but when that whip happens, you actually want to turn your hand with it. You, it helps you control that shape of the whip. You, you'll find this when you're doing basically any kind of slack, you'll, you'll kind of find you want to move your hand with, with it. And that just, that's because it just gives you control, right? So when you're doing this trick, you're going to do that same thing. You, you've, you start here, you bring your hand here, you put your fingers in, you do the whip and the hop. And as the string's chasing around, you're going to whoop, 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 whoop. I hope you've made it this far. Uh, and I hope you're kind of getting that whip. Um, if you are having trouble with it, it's possible you're not hopping the yo-yo high enough. It's possible your, your fingers aren't in the right position. So make sure your fingers, these three fingers are all on the right side of the string. Um, if you don't have your fingers there, what kind of happens is the whip just kind of falls or whatever. So you, you really need specifically that middle finger right here so that when you do this whip, the string doesn't just fall off your pointer finger. It's got another finger to go on. Boop. You can also just kind of, kind of use your imagination to see what's supposed to happen. Pretend you whipped, follow the string around and just try to imagine where it would go, which is right here. Once you've caught the whip, you're going to unwind twice and then cross your arms to, to come out. I'll show you what that looks like. So I'm going to go one, two. Now you see, I've got this kind of Mach five here. So the next thing I do is I go under this hand to come out. One, two, go under, cross out. Okay. A few tips for this trick. Uh, remember that when you're doing this, the yo-yo wants to hop up. It's very important. If you don't hop, uh, the string will be pulled tight when it does the whip. So the whip won't actually be able to, to stay loose. Um, if the whip is too small, what might be happening is you're timing it a little off and the, the, the weight of the yo-yo might be pulling the string instead of, uh, the, the yo-yo free floating. So the goal is free float at the same time as that whip. Other things are make sure your middle finger, especially, but these fingers are on the right side of the string. The reason for that is if you do this whip this way, uh, it'll just fall off your hand or whatever. If, if you don't have your middle finger there, you need your middle finger here to, to, to kind of catch the string in the right spot. Uh, similarly, if you do this, it's just going to hit your fingers and stuff here. So you want to make sure your, your fingers are on the right side of the string. When you're doing this trick, remember to turn your hand. That'll help you control that whip a lot. Hop. It's going to be up, push, hop. There we go. And turn. Uh, and that push, it's not, it's not really like, um, it's not what we're used to for a lot of rejections. A lot of rejections move the yo-yo here. The yo-yo is staying static or at least staying on the same plane. We're not changing the plane. We're not pushing the yo-yo forward. Uh, we're letting the string, the finger do all the work there. So that's just kind of going around and just pushing just like that. And the string went around because I didn't have my middle finger in the right place to catch it. One thing that helps a lot is to really just try to get that timing really smooth. Uh, Skin the Durable, you might know, kind of has no pause, right? It goes all the way from a trapeze somersault into that. We're going to kind of do something similar here, not just for style. I think it really helps land the trick. And that's just going around and whip. And one more tip uh, after you end this trick, I highly recommend uh, the one and a half the, the 1.5 overhand whip, um, that's going to be just a killer ending for this trick.